Crystal River. This is from this morning, and as you can see, mailboxes are nearly underwater there. Houses seen with sandbags at their front doors and garages. And this is damage from Perry, Florida. Meteorologist Evan Bunkers has been out there since yesterday. As you can see, heavy rain came down, strong winds knocked down trees uh, caused by heavy winds there. The storm is now closing in on the Carolinas. The low country of South Carolina can expect a storm surge of three to five feet, but high tide could bring this total even higher. Our sister station in Charlotte spoke to one resident who says she is concerned about her home. Our uh, number one concern is flooding, so we move our cars to high ground and put sandbags out in front of doors and gates. Does that help? Yes, yes it does. As storms go, how does this one seem to be stacking up so far? Oh, I could never predict it. <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully, uh, I think we'll be okay. And we do want to be clear, the storm did not directly hit Tampa. They right. saw some weather related to yes. it, but that eye went further up the coastline. Up near the Big Bend, and yeah. thankfully that's not a highly populous right. area. Still the effects across Florida widespread with respect to flash flooding, storm surge along the coast.